Hi everyone, my name is Robert. Today I'm going to be doing a water jugs ballistic test with 40 Smith & Wesson. I have been casting some Lee 180 grain tumble lube 40 Smith & Wesson bullets. I've already tested out the Hornady XTP 180 grain XTP. Know that it expands at my pistol caliber carbine velocities. Uh, which are moving. They are they are moving. I hand load these with a slower powder book load. I'm not going to go into the load, but Hodgden uh, book loads are what I follow. Uh, this Lee Tumble Lube bullet is a little bit lighter uh, with the alloy I cast from. It's a little bit lighter than 180 grains. And I have powder coated them because I don't want letting in my barrel. And I might shoot them in a Glock, so I don't want, um, you know, the lead to build up in a Glock barrel. The Keltec uh, Sub 2000 that I'm going to be shooting it in doesn't have that kind of barrel. It has a regular Ballard style rifling in the barrel. It's not polyagonal like the uh, like the Glock. So don't really have to powder coat, but just want to. Don't want to get letting in the barrel and got a powder coater, so might as well powder coat. Anyhow, I am going to go ahead and try these out. So it is a 180 grain Lee, and I am gonna shoot them into seven water jugs. You can see the water jugs back here and see if we get expansion. I will be shocked if we get expansion because I think these will only be moving about 1400 feet per second. But with this alloy, it's just range scrap. So I have no idea how hard it is. But with this alloy moving about 1400 feet per second in my Rossi 92 and a Colt, a 45 Colt, I have been getting expansion, so I'm just super curious. Anyhow, I'm going to give it a shot and see how it goes. So if you're not familiar with the Sub 2000, this is the Sub 2000. It's a cool little handy rifle that folds. It takes, this one takes Glock 23 mags. And I'm going to load one around and see how it does. You know what? I'm going to put on my ears too, because knowing my hearing, I don't need any more hearing loss. All right, folks, let's see how it does. The other cool thing is it has this slap to load and weapon is on safe. Let's try it out in the water jugs and see how it does. Another nice thing about the Keltec that I like anyhow is that I can hurry up and make it super safe. I can break it down. So obviously the bullet went through a bunch of jugs. Let's go try and find it. Well, it hit a lot lower than I thought it was going to. Jug one had a lot of damage done to it. real low. The sights need to be adjusted. Well, looky there. It was in between jug six and seven. Cool. I'm such a bullet nerd. Anyhow, here is what I found. So, you know, very mild expansion through those water jugs. I don't know that it would expand at any further range, but I do think if I can make it shoot accurately that it would take a hog since I shoot them mostly right around the ear. So I'm not looking for uh, body shots. I'm looking for central nervous system shots on hogs. There you go. So 180 grain powder coated Lee cast lead did get a little bit of expansion out of the pistol caliber carbine moving about 1400 feet per second. Hope you all enjoyed it. Have a great day.